we are going to generate a digital model from this point cloud, from which we have already classified the terrain. Non-terrain points will be ignored as they are considered non-triangulable. For modeling, we have two options, an elevation map or a triangulated mesh. In this case, we will choose triangulation due to the presence of holes in the terrain caused by low vegetation. We will set a minimum edge of 0.25 meters and a maximum edge of 25 meters for the contour. Triangulation will allow us to establish a custom contour, which we can designate graphically and incorporate break lines. This is useful for supplementing information that may be lost during the cleaning process. Once our triangulation is complete, we can access the representation properties, where we have several options, a flat color model, a slope elevation map, slope direction, and a texture option that allows us to apply an author photo to the model. Next, we can calculate contour lines. For this, we will set the normal curves to one meter and the directed curves to five meters and then perform the calculation. The resulting contours may be jagged due to the inherent margin of error in the point cloud. To create smoother contours, we can convert the triangulation into a mesh using the previously established minimum edge length. We will then smooth this mesh by slightly increasing the cell size and performing a few iterations. Once we have a smooth mesh, we can recalculate the contours using the same parameters. The outcome will be significantly smoother. However, this process is destructive, meaning we might have lost some original terrain information. To check this, we can create a quick profile with a five centimeter interval. By following a specific path, in creating a few segments, we can compare both models with the point cloud from the profile. This allows us to see how well they align. In comparison, the red represents the smoothed model, while the yellow represents the original. We can also take measures to assess any discrepancies. For instance, one measurement might show a difference of about one centimeter, while another could indicate a difference of about seven millimeters. Through this analysis, we can verify that all results are within acceptable tolerance margins. Finally, we will have our clean terrain model along with the contour lines.